my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, just calm down. And with one tweet from Infinity Ward, the entire COD community is already speculating about Modern Warfare 2022, aka Modern Warfare 2, the sequel to Modern Warfare 19, not to be confused with Modern Warfare 2009, aka Modern Warfare 2. All right, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna be talking a bit about the leaks that we can already uh, that we can already like talk about that have been like sort of been floating around the internet and whatnot uh, in regards to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, most importantly, the campaign, the new DMZ mode, and uh, the other such things that we got going on in regards to the game. So let's just get right into it. So let's talk about just like release date overall. Um, yeah, so release date, this thing is slated to come around uh, November as usual with Call of Duties. But a lot of people are speculating that due to low sales for Call of Duty Vanguard, Modern Warfare 2 will be releasing perhaps a month earlier in October rather than November as expected for, by other people. Um, which is completely normal. I mean, I mean, it, knowing knowing the way Activision is, it's completely normal. I don't know if Microsoft has any decision or hand in this, but uh, knowing that they won't be under Microsoft's control until 2022, yeah, again, it is hard to say. So, talking about Modern Warfare 2, so the maps, obviously, we're going to be getting a lot of returning maps from Modern Warfare 2009, Modern Warfare 2 2009. Uh, for example, according to... Um, uh, according to uh, at Ralph's Valve, who is a reliable leaker for Call of Duty, we're going to be getting a Ricochet perk, um, uh, a Bounty Hunter perk, Fuel upgrades are going to be returning, Operators are going to return as well, a Flora's Lava mode, an Uplink mode. Those of y'all that don't know what Uplink is, it's basically um, it's basically like soccer or basketball sort of, but like Call of Duty. Um, it made a debut in, I believe, uh, Advanced Warfare or Black Ops 3, I forget which one it was. Um, and it was a pretty fun game mode that uh, a lot of people love to play with, and uh, I enjoyed it very much. So I'm excited to see that come back. A hostage mode, basically Rainbow Six in Modern Warfare. I think that's gonna be pretty cool to see. Um, I've always wanted to see what like a proper like application of like the quote tactical realism type beat would be, even though nobody really likes playing like that in a normal multiplayer game. It's fun to see what people could possibly be doing uh, with uh, such. Uh, tactics and mechanics and whatnot in a, like a actual realistic slow-paced environment on top of that we're gonna be getting some returning maps like favela terminal high-rise shipping and quarry all from Modern Warfare uh, 2 from 2009 which I think is pretty cool on top of that we will be probably getting a new warzone map talking about warzone 2 will be something completely separate but uh, we could be getting a new version of rebirth island or a completely new map um, that could be uh, having a bunch of different parts from Modern Warfare 2 2009 maps, uh, a bunch like conglomerated together to this one large map. My speculation that this will be the new map for the quote DMZ mode, um, and the DMZ mode, uh, we're gonna get into that right now. The DMZ mode is a leaked, uh, is a leaked third mode that is, um, supposed to be some sort of an escape from Tarkov type mode. I'm not too familiar with Tarkov, I haven't played it much at all. Um, and I haven't even seen too much about it, but uh, this uh, this DMZ mode could po is essentially the idea behind it is you go around this map and you do objectives competing with other players, and you have to try to extract out of there once your objective is complete without getting killed by other players. Pretty straightforward. I think COD could pull this off really, really well, provided it stays isolated from the upcoming new Black Ops game and the Sledgehammer game that will be coming out in 2023 and subsequently 2024. I think that it could be pretty important. Just uh, looking at a, uh, ju just looking at the way that Call of Duty has progressed over the past three years, the complete dumpster fire that Warzone has become with two games integrating. I think it'll be a really important uh, lesson that Call of Duty needs to learn uh, going into this next year. Also, talking about Warzone 2, the integration with that, people don't want to see integration of the new games. Um, there's uh, leaks and speculation that uh, you, there will be a completely new weapon pool, which will be comprised of only Modern Warfare 2 weapons in uh, Warzone 2, and this will be a new gen exclusive uh, game, only for the, of course, the PS5 uh, and the Xbox Series X and S, as well as PC, so that'll be pretty fun to play on as well. Um, we will probably be seeing Modern Warfare 2 releasing on on last gen as well. Last gen meaning, of course, PS4 and Xbox, uh, Xbox One X, One S, and One, and whatnot. But uh, these are all just currently leaked, so we're not really all too sure. 
but again looking at what we have so far what we can already tell is that modern warfare 2 will be a sequel to modern warfare 2019 it won't be a soft reboot of modern warfare 2 um in terms of plot there's a lot of different things floating around one main thing that people have been talking about is this thing called uh, operation our code name cortez um as many people know that uh, to keep things under wraps, a lot of the devs, they try to make a secret code name for the games. Uh, Black Ops Cold War was called the Red Door in the uh, in the blacklisted games uh, folders for, uh, for uh, dev testers to take a test at home during the pandemic. Um, Call, Call of Duty Cortez, or code name Cortez, has been found. Um, and this is, people are referencing that this could be leading into some sort of a South America um spec ops against the cartels type uh type deal and i'm gonna about to show this in a few seconds um and concept art that has been leaked has also seemed to confirm this seeing like how people are wearing boonie hats they are in a swamp like environment and whatnot um uh and like you got the zodiac boat and now this could go one of two ways i will delve further into this but basically i'm thinking that this could either be a call of duty ghosts integration where they're integrating the story of call of duty ghosts as many of you guys that may have played the campaign would know, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts had a very, very big emphasis on Southern America, um, seeing as the South American countries united to form the Federation, which became a world superpower because of their vast oil reserves and because of that they invaded the U.S. and caused massive problems for the South of the U.S. Um, that's just a Call of Duty Ghosts thing. That seems a little outlandish to do for a modern warfare game that's trying to keep it somewhat grounded in realism. But what I think might be more important is that they're going to bring a new, an old character back in a light and make him a little more prominent. Alex the Red, aka Alejandro Rojas, the uh, the dude you hunted down in the favelas ruthlessly that was impossible to beat on veteran in Modern Warfare 2, he will be probably coming back in some way, shape, or form as an arms dealer or a drug dealer, uh, a drug kingpin in Modern Warfare 2022. And your special operation task force will likely be told to try to take him down or bring him in for his connections to some some one thing or the other. I'm honestly excited to see where the story could go. But again, looking at uh, Cortez, people have uh, thought that this could be about cartels or something of the sort. So I have covered a lot about uh, I've covered a lot about multiplayer and I've covered a lot about uh, about zombies. Uh, I'm not sorry about the campaign. And now let's talk about zombies slash the third mode. So as seen, um, Spec Ops was a bit of a flop for Modern Warfare uh, 2019, uh, seeing as the launch was really rocky, and even though the game as of right now is in a pretty okay state, it's it left a really bad impression because of that people just aren't playing it. On top of that, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War had a really, really solid Zombies mode. It may not be everyone's favorite, but it was a solid, well-made mode with a good amount of maps, a lot of content, and a lot of things to do. So. Because of that, they also decided to make Zombies for Vanguard, which is a complete dumpster fire. So honestly, at this point, it's a toss-up as to if they're going to make a Zombies mode or if they're going to make a uh, or if they're going to make a Spec Ops mode. But granted, uh, the fact that uh, they did, they are, they have ten different studios in uh, working on this game, including uh, Beanox, Raven Studios, uh, Infinity Ward, Infinity Ward Poland, um, Treyarch, uh, Sledgehammer, Raven, and other such. Uh, developing teams it's probably going to be a zombies mode knowing that Treyarch's forte is zombies sledgehammer of course assisting with that a sledgehammer could also be assisting assets for the campaign and whatnot but also from what we've heard the game is already in an alpha state um which is crazy to think that this early on i mean the game is slated to release in another eight or nine months um uh, in maybe around eight or nine months again based on speculation and patterns that we've seen in the past uh eight or nine months and it's already in alpha state compared to cold war that we saw alpha leaks in september and we played the alpha like i mean that was that was that's huge to see that it's already there um so again it's honestly pretty amazing so cod leakers have uh, claimed that 11 different studios which i think is really just a really cool thing uh 11 different studios are working on it like demonware high moon toys for bob uh infinity ward texas poland and la Beanox, activision uh raven and sledge which again that's 
pr- a pretty big hefty lineup for to be developing one game and again the game is in the best state out of all the three games that we've looked at in the past few years so honestly my hopes are high for modern warfare 2022 but honestly after vanguard i don't know what to have my expectations at you guys can all let me know what you all uh what you all think what you're all expecting for modern warfare 2022 if you guys think it's gonna be a good game a bad game so so whatever you guys think leave it in the comments i'm interested to know what you guys think so after all, that is my video, that is my thoughts and comments. Thank you all for watching. Stay frosty.